Welcome to Bandwidth Capacity Techniques. In this activity, you'll learn what bandwidth is and how data is transmitted. Bandwidth typically refers to a network's capacity to transmit a specific amount of data during a given time period. The term is commonly used when discussing networking. As the bandwidth increases, the volume of transmitted data also increases, which allows for faster data transmission. A computer is, when you get down to it, a complex set of electrical circuits that interpret different voltages as data. The voltages are in one of two states. A high voltage state, 5 volts or 3.3 volts, depending on the system, or a low voltage state, 0 volts. These states are interpreted as either on or off and are represented as either a 1 or a 0. We call each of these states a bit. Computers usually operate on groups of bits in multiples of 8. 8 bits are called a byte. When bytes move inside a computer, they're typically transferred in parallel form. This means every bit in a byte moves simultaneously over the conductors. There are always an equal number of conductors and bits. The conductors may be a circuit track on a printed circuit board or a wire within a cable. Cables are typically used to connect one circuit board to another. However, when data is transmitted over a long distance from one computer to another, it's not practical to transmit data in parallel form. The transmission requires many conductors, which ends up being cost prohibitive. A number of techniques have been used to increase the speed of data flow over one conductor. One effective method is to convert binary data bits into an analog signal using a modem. Modem is short for modulator, demodulator. A modem simultaneously transmits multiple bits over a single cable using a combination of amplitude modulation and different frequencies. As a byte is parallel transferred into the modem, each bit activates an analog signal generator, which produces a sine wave at a given frequency. Each signal generator creates a sine wave at a different frequency. If a bit is a logic 1, the corresponding generator activates and produces a signal at its defined frequency. Every individual signal is modulated into one signal. It contains information that, when decoded, determines exactly which bits were sent and which were not. This combined signal can be transmitted over a single cable to a modem at the destination system. The modem at the receiving end demodulates the signal. It uses a bandpass filter to determine whether the incoming signal contains a frequency corresponding to a bit. Each bandpass filter activates only in the presence of a certain frequency. If its frequency is found in the signal, it produces a logic 1. If not, it produces a 0. Once the receiving modem processes all of the data, it's transferred in parallel to the receiving computer. Because modems can use multiple carrier frequencies at the same time, they can simultaneously transmit groups of bytes. This allows more data to be transmitted at the same time and speeds up data transmission rates. Home computers often use modems to connect to the Internet. The type is determined by the Internet provider's connection, such as dial-up, digital subscriber line, DSL, cable, or fiber optics. The capacity or speed at which data is transferred is partially dependent on the physical characteristics of the Internet provider's conductor. Dial-up is the slowest of the connections because its frequency is only 33 Hz. DSL transmits at a higher speed because it has a larger bandwidth, so it can send a great number of data frequencies simultaneously. Cable is even faster than DSL because its bandwidth is greater yet. Fiber optic is the fastest transmission medium because it allows the greatest number of frequencies of analog electromagnetic signals, or sine waves, to pass through.